The Tang Dynasty took over China in the 7th century, and in a century they strengthened China's armies and economy and expanded their borders after successful military campaigns. But in the middle of the 8th century, they began to suffer numerous defeats. They failed to subdue the Kingdom of Nanzhao and Yunnan, were prevented from taking Tibet, and famously lost the Battle of Talas against the Muslims in Central Asia in 751. All of these were incredibly costly failures and the state was running out of money. But the 8th century was a turbulent time for many states along the Silk Road. In modern day Uzbekistan, the Abbasids launched a rebellion against the Umayyads, and the large Turkic Khaganate collapsed when the Wagas and the Persian Sogdians of Central Asia rose up and later established the Wagar Khaganate in the 740s. This turmoil encouraged many people to enter China, including one man, An Lushan, who was probably a Sogdian. An Lushan entered the army and in the 730s disobeyed orders and launched an unsuccessful campaign against the Kitans on the northern borders. Despite his failure, this helped him rise through the ranks and became a favourite of the Zhuangzong Emperor and Chancellor Li Lunfu. He was placed in control of an army of over 100,000 men in the north near modern day Beijing, but began to create powerful rivals. For instance, another general, Gen Chu Han, who defended the borders in the west, fell out with An Lushan, and Chancellor Li died in the 750s, and the new chancellor, Yang Guozong, entered into a political alliance with Gen Chu Han. They were fearful of An Lushan's aspirations, and the emperor found out that An Lushan had bribed officials sent to monitor him and report on his behaviour. So, fearing his position was now under threat, An Lushan took advantage of the popular discontent against the Tang Dynasty and rebelled in 755. His armies quickly marched south, taking modern day Beijing, and then moved along the Grand Canal and captured Luoyang, the eastern capital. Once there, he crowned himself emperor of the new Yan dynasty. However, he continued advancing, hoping to take the western capital Chang'an, Monday Xi'an. En route, the size of his armies increased a great deal because he welcomed surrendering soldiers into his ranks. However, his advance was halted at the Battle of Yongchu in early 756. An Lushan's forces were then unable to advance because the Tang forces were in defensive positions on the Tong Pass. But Yang Guozhong pressured Genshu Han to meet An Lushan in battle at the end of the year. This was a disaster and the victorious An Lushan marched on Chang'an, forcing the emperor to flee. An Lushan was able to capture Chang'an later that year, killing hundreds of thousands in the process, just as Emperor Zhang Zhong's son was proclaimed the Su Chong Emperor. The Su Chong Emperor quickly recruited mercenaries from Mongolia and Central Asia, and they helped prevent An Lushan from advancing any further south. There was therefore stalemate until 757, but An Lushan's health began to deteriorate and was killed by his own son. His son An Ching Su took over the Yang Dynasty and tried to break the stalemate by laying siege to Sui Yang. This was a siege that went on for months and forced the inhabitants to resort to cannibalism. The city fell when only 400 defenders remained, but this was an incredibly costly siege for the Yan as well. So the Tang Dynasty and the foreign mercenaries were able to reclaim Chang'an and Liu Yang. Although the Yan Dynasty survived, they began to fall apart after a series of political killings. The Yan general who failed to defend Liu Yang, Xi Xingming, temporarily defected but returned to kill Ang Jingshu and made himself emperor. He was able to reclaim Liu Yang, but in 761 he was killed by his own son, Shi Chao Yi. But by this point though, Shi Chao Yi didn't have the support of his generals and his armies were disjointed. However, the Tang Dynasty also faced problems. Thousands of Persian and Arab merchants were massacred in Canton, and the Su Zhong Emperor, who was sick, abdicated in 762, and the Dai Zhong Emperor took over the Tang Dynasty. He, however, also had to fight the Tibetans, who were using this opportunity to reclaim lost provinces and would eventually take Chang'an in 763. The Daijong Emperor increased the size of his armies by accepting help from the defecting Yang generals and launched an assault on the disjointed rebels. By 763, he captured Lu Yang and Shi Chao Yi committed suicide, ending the war. The war was devastating for many provinces and some historians have estimated tens of millions died, but this is disputed. Although the weakened Tang Dynasty reclaimed Chang'an from the Tibetans, within a few years they lost control of the western passes into Central Asia. And within a century, the dynasty collapsed and China was thrown into a period of chaos known as the Five Dynasties and Ten Kingdoms period. 